What do we have here? We got an unbox, an unbag, an unbagging, because it feels like it's just a knife in a bag. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say his name, uh, but dude, we gotta do a little better. That old knife reviewer was only a few seconds away from finding out that he was dead wrong. And that old seller, whose name we ain't gonna mention, had done a pretty decent job of wrapping up that knife. Let's get it open. This is one of those cool times when you buy a Tucson and don't have to wait. You know what, let's use something cooler than that. You don't have to wait for the long trip from China. So, I bought a Tucson just from a dude on Facebook and let's get it open! That was funner, right? Okay, well, it's in a Ziploc anyway. Oh, it's in a little bag. Okay, I, I take it back. It's at least in a little bag. And this is a padded envelope. Okay, so it's not so bad. That's not terrible. But a box is better, dude. A box is better. Boy, that thing's got a little weight to it. Okay. Looks like I got a little blankie. Oh, it's a damn design blankie, too. Look at this. Sweet little, uh, what the hell are these things called? Microfibers? I don't think I have them. I have it, or I've had ugh, four or five damn designs, but I don't remember if I got a blanket. I wonder if they only come with the titanium ones. I don't know. Anyway, let's get to this freaking Tucson because it feels really nice. What is the name number? Max Tuchuk. It's a TS3. I oh, mean, I can't read it. It's a three. Come on, zoom in. Three something something. It's in D2 in titanium. And the handle feels really nice. Wow, got an anodized backspacer, anodized titanium. It's like kind of a, uh, I guess it's a lightning anodizing, but it's you know, a little, I don't know, calmer than a lot of lightning anodizing. Let's see, how's that clip? Clip feels good. Boy, I, I wasn't sure if I would like it. I think I like it. Now, of course, right away, this front kind of calls for me to cut it. That old knife modder, he couldn't help himself from cutting on steel that didn't even need it. But maybe I won't, though, because it's nice and drop shutty like it is. If I make the blade lighter, it might not be as drop shutty. Boy, that is fun. That is a fun little chopper. It is almost like a little kitchen chopper. The thumb hole uh, is plenty big. Wow, great for the thumb, too. That is really nice. Okay, that's one little downside already, I just noticed. So, the edge of the lock bar is real sharp. So, it's kind of annoying. Like, you go to lock it and you kind of catch your thumb on it a little bit. It's really not a big deal. It's not going to cut you or anything. It's just, I don't know, kind of annoying. Like, if you choke up on it, if you choke up on it, you kind of start noticing it a little bit. Boy, that is really nicely made, though. I love the, the different... Uh, angles cut on the handle it's really nice and i love how the pocket clip rides right in the center boy really really nice design i like it a lot okay yeah i think it's a light user but it feels pretty edgy still let's see yeah it's still got a little edge on it yeah. it's almost as sharp as they normally come i would say that is nice that is really nice. Lock access is great. It's weird how sometimes lock access is, looks very similar, but isn't good. But that lock access is excellent. The lockup is good, right around 25-ish percent. Got a nearly full backspacer, which is good. You don't want that big blade out near the edge of your fingers if it gets close. I don't know. Boy, if it had a uh, flipper, that'd be nice too, but... It's got um, two um, blade stops. It's got one for closing, so the blade hits there when it closes, which I don't love that because it's hitting right there, which is very high up on the blade. Not a huge deal, but it'd be better if it wasn't hitting there. And then when it opens, it hits on that one. So that's interesting, two blade stops. Boy, I was just looking at um, a Kaiser. There's a there's a contest on the Kaiser uh, Facebook page for designing a Kaiser. Um, you know what? I think I might um, 
Well, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'll save that for something else. Anyway, so there's a, a design on there, and the guy has the thumb hole matching with this little cutout right here, and that looks so good. And you could have so easily done that here. Just bring it down and match it with this, this cutout, and then when it's closed, it looks just tied together. Tied, it looks tied in, all the design features, you know? But man, I kind of like this. Okay, what's poking me here? Something's poking me on my finger. The top of the pocket clip, maybe? Or this bit right here? Something. All right, let me do that again. I'm going to play with it for a minute. Yeah, it's got a little sharp edge right under this edge right here. But you almost got to kind of dig for it. It's not a big deal. Pretty cool knife. We will carry it. We will cut stuff with it. We might even modify it a little bit, and then we will get back to you and let you know how the TS, I think it's 357, I don't know, three something, you can put it up here, how it performs and how I like it more long term. It's not a front flipper, is it? Oh, almost. Nope. What if they brought it up a little higher? Would have been. That's so silly, too. They could have made it into a front flipper if they'd have just taken this uh, st lock stop out and made the blade further back, it would have hit there, and then it would be tall enough to be a front flipper. I don't know. I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Pretty cool, though. The Tucson TS blah, blah, blah. One minute, 37 seconds later. So, what do we think? That's the line, approximately, that we're going to cut on. I think it'll be nice. We shall see. But that old knife monitor, he done faithfully recorded some of them grindings he did on that knife, but he also accidentally erased them. So here's a random dude grinding on some metal. So I think it turned out pretty decent. Still fairly drop shotty. The lighter blade didn't really hurt much. Maybe it flicks out a little faster now because the blade's a little lighter. I think the lines still hold together nicely. Yeah, I think it's cool. The uh, Tucson TS376 by Max Tikachuk uh, with a little mod to make it a little more aggressive looking. Have a nice day.